Hi, this is Gary Fong, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to do custom white balance for your Sony DSLR. Now, custom white balance is very, very handy and accurate for if you're doing, say, for example, product photography or anything where you want to have exact 100% uh, perfect color transition uh, rendition with absolutely no color cast at all. And I've got two basic domes that will help you achieve this. One is our gray dome. This is an 18% gray dome shape of a, a gray card. And actually this is superior to the gray card because on the gray card, if I turn it just a little bit, it'll change the color and the exposure of the card, whereas this one is half spherical, which is really nice because uh, if you uh, come into this, it will do a measurement, a neutral measurement of the entire thing. So this is reflective, and this one is basically something that you would have your uh, subject hold next to the face, and then you would zoom in here and take one shot of just this, and use this as your reference to tell the camera to adjust its color balance so that all of this light around me will be exactly neutral gray, which is wonderful, and that, that will give you completely accurate color. This dome right here comes with any light sphere, and it's uh, part of any light sphere kit. It's just the regular dome. But what's really nice about that is, of course, it's half dome shape. So just like any of the color meters you've ever uh, seen in the past or whatever, or you can Google what a color meter is, you'll normally see a light meter has a dome on it. And the reason why it has a dome on it is because it wants to measure light coming in from all around uh, to the subject. Now, this is what we call an incident meter. Incident meter means I'm going to measure it where I am. Not what's balancing off me, but I'm going to measure the light that's hitting me. So, in a situation like that, you would take this, your camera, turn the autofocus off, walk over to your model, and then set it up like I'm going to show you in the menus, and then take your reference photo with this on, and then your camera will then measure all the light that's hitting the stone, and it'll neutralize it into regular neutral gray so that there'll be no color cast on your photo, and you'll have 100% accurate color. So let's go over to the menu switches, and I'll show you exactly how to set up and calibrate custom white balance for your Sony. taking the reference shot. So as you'll notice here, uh, everything is in focus. And what I want to do is I want to intentionally blur the camera a lot so that there won't be any fine details in any of these uh, specular lighting parts to actually throw different colored spots on my reference photo. And the way that's done is I'm going to deliberately just take it way out of focus. Okay, like that. And in fact, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so that's pretty pretty badly out of focus. Now, I, I don't care about what it's looking at. What I care about is the light that's hitting the front of this lens. Okay, so let's take our reference image. I'm going to go ahead and put the dome over the camera. And you can see basically that I've got a, a pretty nice, very, very even illumination reference photo. I'm going to hit the function button for white balance. And then I'm going to click over and select it with a multi-select tool. Right now it says auto white balance. I'm going to take it all the way down here, past custom 1, 2, 3, and 4, to custom setup. Okay, so when I press the center button, it'll tell me, use spot focus area data, P press shutter to load. Watch this. Hit the button, and then there it is, right there, a very, very beautiful 18% gray. It almost looks exactly like a gray card. Select a register. What that means is, do you want it to be custom 1? Do you want it to be custom 2, 3, and do you want it to be 5500K, which you can make your different adjustments. Um, green, okay, 5500K, which is basically daylight. You'll see down here that the originating shot was 3300K, which is very warm. And so this is the difference. And what the, ca what the camera did was basically took the um, very, very warm light, and adjusted it so that it would be 5500K or daylight balanced. Okay, so uh, as you can see right there, Emily is holding the dome. And so I'm going to just go ahead and take one picture, regular auto white balance. And that'll show you what that looked like. And that's the camera doing its best to choose. Now, let's take it to custom white balance, and I'll show you how accurate this is going to be. So we hit the function button. We're in white balance. I'm going to select white balance. And now, as you can see, it was under auto white balance. I'm going to scroll down 
past shade, incandescent, fluorescence, all this other stuff. Pass custom one, two, and three to custom setup. So I have it on custom setup now, and when I press the center of the multi select tool, it says use spot focus to area data, press shutter to load. Do you see that little spot right in the center? Do you see how the exposure changed? Watch. I had it like on Emily's scarf, the whole thing goes boom, uh, overexposed, because it thinks that you're trying to tell me that the scarf is the 18% gray, but no, actually, it's this beautiful little dome right there, and look at centered right in the middle of it, okay? Now I'm going to uh, press the shutter to load, like that, and it'll ask me, uh, select register, do you want to be at number one or number two? And number two, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit select, and now we're on custom white balance number two. So as you can see already, it's corrected it in the live view, but I'll just go ahead and take another photo and you'll see that this is just spot on, 100% accurate color. I mean, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable, completely neutral.